What is up guys, Fallen Red Zero here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved. So we're here at our new base, as you saw in the last episode. I did make some extensions here, so some um, area over, because I always like to have this sort of stuff outside, so that way I can fly the birds in, land them next to the stuff, and unload them, and all that. So I set up this whole thing, put a table with some mortar and pestles, and some furnaces, or forges i guess you'd say in a smithy and everything so got all that set up outside here um so inside we have our rg and all the dinos i never got the trike moved yet but that's something i'll have to work on it's so dark i've been trying to um let it light up but i can't or it's just taking forever to become daylight as you can see it's starting to now but i'm wanting to today to put up some uh defenses stuff because i had a stego wonder over here and it wandered back under here and got stuck under the um, building here. And so I tried to like get it out like by shooting it, but it just kind of stayed there. And so as I was trying to find a new way to be able to like hit it or something or drag it away by being aggroed to me, it just started attacking the base. And so it was damaging everything. Thankfully, it didn't uh, destroy anything. And so I just had to repair. But I did not like that at all. So, well, um want to put up barrier and defenses i don't know what i'm doing because i need to come out here so we're going to put up i need to build a behemoth gate um let's see if we, i know we can have enough stuff to do, do to do it b e h behemoth gate okay we already got it unlocked and so we got to do it in a smithy so it's stone thatch and wood so we i just gathered a bunch of wood i forgot how much but i'm trying to decide where i even want to put it because i'm thinking you know somewhere of course, uh, things humongous. Um, yeah, I probably should, cause I was like, I'm gonna do the walls first, cause I do the fence foundations and uh, railings and all that sort of stuff on the outside, cause I always like to be able to see out. So I don't do just straight walls. But I think somewhere over here, like I think this rock will come up, but somewhere between this rock and everything, cause I'm thinking about putting the foundations, you know, along the edge right here so just to have all this area to go as well and just continue it all the way around that way but i'm thinking by the way the land's laid out at least to block this way because this is the directions usually where carnos come from and everything i think putting it right in here um but I, let's go ahead and gather up i need like a dodickers or something to be able to gather rocks and everything so it's going to take a while I'll go ahead and unload. I should probably get the RGs so I can load it up and everything. And then once I get the stuff blocked off, I can leave like my dinos out and everything. I need to do the uh, one smithy. Let's see, crafting this thing. That's plus one at some point in time. But the actually, I probably do need to do that because I don't think. Let's see. Okay, you can. Let's go with struct. Uh, no, we don't want structures. We want stone. There we go. Okay, because I want to make sure we could do the S plus ones, and we can. So we'll go ahead and just place that in there. Oh yeah, we'll need to move all the wood and everything. But let's just go ahead and take the RG so we can load it up and get a lot of this stuff gathered. So I think I'll go ahead and gather up all the materials, and then I'll come back once we get the. Um, Thing crafted the door. I'm getting a lot of sand up here. Stop giving me sand. I don't want sand. But I'll get that crafted up and so I'll get the behemoth gate done, figure out exactly where I want to place and we'll come back and place it and then I'll start working on the uh, found or fence foundations, putting them down, deciding where I want to put them exactly. So I will gather up all the materials and I will be right back. Okay, so I got everything gathered now so we can go ahead and construct all this. So we'll do a behemoth gate. And I think I've kind of, I'm going to test it though. I'm not just going to do it. I'm going to see if I can put it where I think it will go. So we got those two so we can get ready to place those now. Um, because I kind of want a bigger area. So I think what I was going to do is going to be kind of too small, but I'll have to do a lot more. But I was thinking about doing it up here somewhere, maybe like, um, let's see how big the behemoth gate is. Let's see if we can K mode it and try and get it between these two walls. Maybe. Maybe. 
We may have to do more to one side or something. Actually, I think just right here will be fine because then I'm going to block off the walls up there or like put walls around that so dinos can't fall down in and everything. So I think this will work probably because um, I don't want it sticking up super high over the thing. But yeah, I think down like this way would be really nice. It's kind of, I think right there may be good. Because, yeah, we're not too far from each of the walls. So I think it'll be good. Just go and place it there. Look how ginormous the behemoth gate is. Okay, and then... Oh, let's get out of K mode. Here we go. And push the door in there. So now we have a behemoth gate. So let's run down and look. Get on the RG. So yeah, that blocks off this area. So then, like I said, we'll, I'll come up here and put wall, uh, railing things around there so dinos won't be able to fall in. And like the carno here, because there's always carnos up over this way. No one can defeat me. So yeah, I think that'll be good and cool. Like I said, I'll run railing all the way along up here so dinos don't fall in this area. So they can come up, you know, to the walls and everything and won't fall in. And then now I just need something over here. So I may do a couple behemoth gates. Like I'll probably put a dino gate over here to block that one. Um, down here, probably a dino gate because I don't know of anything I'd be walking that big up this way. Or I think a behemoth gate would probably just block this whole thing off. So probably a behemoth gate here. And then I don't know what I'm going to do over in this direction. If I'm just going to do a straight wall. Or I may put like a behemoth gate along the water here. And then just continue a um, fence all the way over to the wall here. Let's see where this wall goes. I haven't flown over here yet to see exactly. But just follow the water's edge. So I'll have this whole area over here to have to work with. And yeah, just probably follow to the edge of the rocks here. We got some metal over here too. So just kind of block off this whole railing or waterway, whatever, the waterfall. And yeah, just block this. So so I need two behemoth gates, it looks like. Because I don't really know that this area over this way really goes anywhere. I may do a behemoth gate over this way. Like right in here or something. Just to block this area off. Because I don't really know that this goes anywhere to where I'd really be walking dinos. That's why I was going to say a dino gate. Actually, I could probably just do a behemoth gate right here in this entrance way. And that would take care of it right there. Just put it right here. So that will block dinos. So, of course, stuff can probably spawn over here. But I doubt very much will go on because I'm going to block the whole thing off so dinos don't fall off the edge or anything so I think I'm gonna craft up so I need what probably four more behemoth gates that's a lot of stuff um, so I will probably gather up the materials I've gathered a lot of stuff I doubt it's probably enough though but I've filled up this container with stone and wood and then I put some more wood over there that I've gathered so I'll just kind of move over and gather what I need but I need four so it's 900 of everything a piece so that times four is what 3600 of everything so well it's what one two three actually I don't know why I kept saying four but three so 2700 so I will gather all that and be right back once again and we will put up our behemoth gates and block everything off so nothing can get in our base None of you evil dinosaurs are coming in. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything gathered up. It kind of depleted all my stores and everything, or storage, whatever, to be able to craft. So I'll go ahead and do three of these and three of those. So we got those all crafting up now. So we can wait for them to craft. So that, like I said, that kind of depleted my stores because I was hoping to have um, a lot of stuff. That's why I gathered a lot. To be able to, you know, craft the fence foundations and everything. Um, but 
it's I guess well worth a behemoth gates and everything I can always just uh, gather more materials and everything so let's see if they're done yet and they are okay so we'll place those there and that so let's place our doors now um, I don't know if I'll place the one yet over here because I may go ahead and place all the fence foundations along the water there uh, I don't know I may do that before I place the door we do have a random stego are you high level you may be a tame stego let's see Ooh, 140 yep you will be a tame stego so I'll leave you there for now hopefully you don't bother anything so let's fly over here and we'll find a good location for our behemoth gate down here probably right where the curve is maybe so let's go with number five K mode so we can see oh god there it goes it's like it's so high up so I guess right there maybe let's see if we can get a better location stupid RJ I'm stuck on you All right, there's probably not too bad at all because nothing's really going to be coming through either side. Place it more over this way probably. Then I can just put a thing up all over there. So yeah, that's perfect there. We got five and then six is our door. There we go. So yeah, we got a behemoth gate there. So come out of K mode. Let's go RG. Fly to the other entrance we'll fly over here to this door like I mentioned like I said hopefully nothing will spawn over here I don't think it will with the behemoth gate but you never know but let's go ahead and hop off the bird here Are all these plants gonna cause issues okay go five get it close and came in <clears throat> so yeah see that wish I could came out out more but yeah that's gonna pretty much just clear completely shut it off right there we'll go ahead and just place it yeah right here you won't be able to see it hardly but with the door it's completely closed now awesome okay so we don't have to worry about anything that way let's get through the brush there we go so it's perfectly closed off we can still fly up and over this way so nothing will be coming in there and not that I really think anything would in the first place but you never know so we're getting all closed off which is awesome so we're gonna have this oh there's a raptor I hope you aren't high level because I want a raptor no you're dead because with a lot of high level spawning stuff spawning around I'm like please don't be high levels oh, I was like that pterodon looks weird but it was its head I thought it looked like it had a saddle Kind of freaked me out for a second. Okay. So I think we are now ready to craft up. Yeah, we're ready to craft up the railings now. And I think because everything's pretty much blocked off, I'll start maybe with the water side here. I don't know exactly, but I'll craft. There's another Carno. And we'll just go along the water edge here, like I said. And then I'll put the behemoth gate up. I'm gonna kill this Karna real quick. But I will start crafting up some stuff. And I'll place them down. Or start placing them down. And I'll bring it back once we do that. So, because I'll have to gather more materials. So I don't want to do it right now. Um, so I'll gather up the stuff and get a bunch crafted. And we'll be right back. Okay, so I got a bunch crafted up. I have over a hundred of the fence foundation. So that should be plenty enough to get along through here so I'll fly over here and of course start at the wall first and then move from there we're just gonna follow along the water's edge and I'll pick up stuff as you know we hit rocks and that sort of stuff so let's go ahead and land here and pick up I may have to drop some stuff off cuz yeah that's way too heavy let's see if we can drop some of this wood oh yeah dropping the wood off is helping a lot Oh, and we got metal on us too okay and yeah we can move all that sorts of good stuff okay so we'll start here did I put that in a slot nope so we'll go with five here I 
hate how it's doing. I want it to face the other direction. Oh well. Let's see if we can. And hit E. There we go. There, that should be good. Oh, that's not where I want it though. So I need to face more this direction, so we need to come at an angle more. Let's go ahead and do K mode and see if that helps any. Um, trying to decide exactly how I want to do this. Let's try this. I know that's too much. Oh, that should be good. Get away from me, Tyrannos. Oh, really, you had to land right on me. Actually, let's go ahead and just move up to here and do it. So that way we don't have to have that little extra section here. Oh, and that's pretty good. Let's go this way more. And place it in a little. There we go. Okay. So we can just go ahead and place. See, that's the thing. I don't. I want them all facing this direction now. Place, 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 place. There we go. Move your butt, stupid bird. Now hopefully nothing just dangerous comes up and attacks me while doing this. But if you've seen uh, any of my other arc videos, I always do this. I because I don't. Well, of course, you have to put wall stuff or these type of things down to be able to uh, put up walls and everything around your base. But I always use the fence wood or stone fence foundations and then stone. Uh, railings because the dinosaurs you know can't break through those at least not easily and so I place them down and then um, I forget what and then is oh and then um, so that way you know it protects them and you can still see out I would like the wood ones but as you know dinos can destroy them and everything let's get this plants taken out Let's see where we're and so once we hit like a intersect like we're going into the water or something we'll then like curve around or something but as of right now we'll just do the straight line type thing so let's go five dang it oh come on Ugh, is it really gonna be like this I'll probably have to uh, um, do this off camera and then bring it back once I'm done and we'll place the behemoth gate. Okay guys, so I got it all placed. So we're getting ready to place the door here. So the behemoth gate, so I got it all placed. I think I'm in the proper place where I want it. Looks like it's yeah sitting on the foundation there and then there's one over here that I can see. So I think we're gonna place it right here. Awesome, and then if we place the door, so we have the behemoth gate. So it kind of leads to the water there which then kind of leads from there you know up in this clearing area over this way to there so i finally got all the uh foundations placed i still have a couple oh of course you stupid raptor oh no like i said i always like to check the raptors make sure they're not high level like i said i'm still getting a couple dangerous things like the raptor and stuff spawning in here but that's what once i get the there's the stego stuck under my thing again Oh my god, I freaking hate this because there's nothing I can really do because it's stuck. So I need to like one shot it in the head or something. I don't know exactly. Let's see if we can fly over here and see if I can shoot it in the head because I think I'm far enough distance away so it won't aggro because it won't no it's me or whatever all the way over here let's see oh nope it's attacking 
Shoot, shoot, shoot. No, don't destroy my stuff. Oh, you gotta go. Ah, that was the 140 Stego I wanted too. Okay, let's see, did it destroy anything? I don't see anything destroyed. Definitely have to repair stuff though. Oh, and we have one of those things now. So that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I gotta repair all the wood and stuff here. So I'm gonna be putting um, some these uh, pillars down. Couldn't think of what they're called. I'm gonna be putting pillars down all under here just so it kind of blocks it. So if more dinos come in, it should be more protected. I really wanted that stego, dang it. But as you can see, yeah, stuff's spawning in here. So we have a stupid Diplodocus coming up. Whoa, there's some going on with the rocks up there. So we have a Diplodocus in here now. Stupid dino. Okay. But that's what we're building the fences for. So now I need to build some fence foundations. Or some uh, fencing is what I meant to say. Let's see what we have on us. We don't have anything. Do we have the fence unlocked? Fence support. I don't see any in here, so let's go in here. Let's go with fence. If I can spell stone fence foundation and or no fit. Where's the railing? I think is what it's called. Wood railing, stone railing. Yes. Okay. So where is it? Am I just completely missing? Oh yeah, it's right there. So we need some thatch. Do you have anything on here? I kind of up unloaded some stuff on. Nope. Okay. Let's get off of you. So I'm pretty full on materials in my stuff. So let's go ahead and just take all the thatch here. I need to unload some of this flint that I got from having to break stones and everything. Over there I got a bunch of metal too. Get rid of all the flint. Get out of my pocket. I guess you'd say it's in my pocket. We got some clay from somewhere. I don't know where we got that from. Okay, so let's come here and let's see how many we can craft. Five. Of course. Well, at least it's a start. So let's hop on the bird and fly over here. I'll just kind of start around the door here. Okay, should be done there. put our gun away so we don't shoot anything there we go we got that and we'll place the last two over here come on place there we go so now I just gotta do a butt ton more oh there's a carno exactly what I'm trying to keep out in a way so we got a carno over there so I'll have to take care of that and I need to be crafting let's see what we need for more wood of course always need wood I pretty sure you don't have it oh you do have some so let's craft what we can here ooh 16 perfect that'll get a good start let's go ahead and well, that's crafting take care of the carno over here it's a nice looking carno it looks like a tiger stripe 85 carno okay carno gone bye bye and I don't see any more dangerous stuff so we should be pretty good this will you know fence off of course I have to make a lot more to be able to protect from all the dinos up top and everything so let's go ahead and just place all this over here kind of under the water but it's kind of hard to see over this then I'll have to like go up on the rocks and everything probably just to add more protection and that sort of stuff that, I don't know if that's a leaf or a dino don't really know. Don't care right now. So let's go over here and place the rest of these foundation or fence to end off the episode. Then, like I said, off screen, I'll have to just cra oh, that's fine. craft a whole lot more, obviously, to block off this area. Because I have to do at least three high, I believe. And that is it. So that is all our fence. Well, let's go and pick this one up so that way we're even. I'm on the 
There we go. It's like I'm on the railing doing the surfing. And there we go. So we got that all placed. So like I said, I'll just have to craft a whole lot more. We're going to do a whole lot. But I think that means, though, since we need stone and wood and everything, that means the next episode we're probably going to be taming some stuff. And I'm feeling a beaver and a dodicarus. Yeah, obviously, though, if I can find them. But so that's going to be it for the episode of the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings. I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like a Stego maybe. Oh yeah, Stego coming in right out the door there. Of course, we got our behemoth gates put up and then started the um, fence or the wall, I should say, around the base. They're going to have to do a whole bunch of working on, but that's what we're going to do. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and we will... Whoa. Let's zoom in here. We will, we will, we will see you next time.